Well, first off, let me tell you, I'm overdressed for this weather. My house is very cool because we sleep with the windows open, so I had some running around to do today, and uh, I chose poorly because I'm really, really, really warm. But uh, I wanted to get this um, done, not done, but, you know, like out of the way. Um, trying to fix this. <sighs> trying to not have so much gray background. Sorry, you have to play along with me. Um, I... Um, I gained two pounds back in the 70s again. I weighed 270 this morning. I don't know what I'm doing. I gained 2.8 on Saturday. So I did lose a little bit of weight over the weekend, but not even a pound. But you know what? It's on the way. It's going down. That's what matters. And um, I did stay after the meeting to talk to my leader. We're trying to figure out a new plan of attack for me. So I'm going to try to eat smaller meals and more of them and see if that makes a difference this week. So, um... I found it in the Weight Watchers magazine um, that I got from Diana Antu. Thank you so much, Diana. I read it all the time. So um, it's um, 10 little things that you can do to change everything in your life to live a healthier life. And um, they're pretty quick, and they're not that hard. Uh, number one is drink some water first. Thirst and hunger cues can actually be one and the same. Give your body some time to process what is happening by drinking a glass of water and see if the hunger goes away. If the hunger doesn't go away, then you're hungry. But uh, for the most part, if you're, um, a glass of water might suffice. And so uh, I do try to drink a lot of water. I drink at least 64 ounces in a day. Um, I do try to drink a little bit more than that. I do drink two glasses of water in the morning when I first get up. And then I drink a glass of water when I get back from my walk. And then I try to drink a glass of water with each meal. I was only eating two meals, so now it's going to be like, I'm going to eat a lot of littler meals, so I might be drinking a little bit more water, which is always good. It's good for your skin, it's good for your body, it's good for your digestion. It's just all around good. <laughs> and uh, it's just your water bill. I, I don't drink bottled water. I drink it out of the tap. I figured I've already paid for it, so I might as well drink it. Um, number two, avoid late night snacks. Uh, midnight sweet tooth calling. Next time, be ready to answer the cravings with this clever trick. Brush your teeth right after dinner, and then... You won't want to have a treat because you'll think, i got to go brush my teeth again. Not that it's a big chore to brush your teeth, but, uh, you know, once you've... I floss at night, so once I've flossed, I'm done. You know, I'm not going to I'm not gonna eat again. Look at these teeth. I, I, the flossing's pretty easy. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not a midnight eater. I usually don't eat after 7 o'clock. I find that if I eat after 7 o'clock, um, I don't sleep well. So that is not one of my issues. My issues are the big, huge meals I eat all during the day. Number three, focus on the fats. When eaten in moderation, studies have shown that healthy fats like monosaturated and polysaturated fats may help lower cholesterol, which in, your ter which in turn may decrease your risk of heart disease. Um, to reap the heart healthy benefits, simply add an av avocado or a tablespoon of coconut oil into your next smoothie. You know, I've never had a smoothie, so I don't know. A bonus is that you maybe end up feeling fuller longer as fat slows digestion, increasing fullness and decreasing um, appetite. Another good hint. Number four, make breakfast at night. My family, we've always had breakfast at night. We do that, um, usually it was on Fridays during Lent, and uh, David just got home. Uh, we had breakfast, um, and then it just got to be a habit that we had breakfast at night. I like a breakfast for a dinner. Um, Aaron, not so much my son-in-law. Um, prepping your breakfast the night before takes the stress out of morning meal planning. There are plenty of foods that can be made the night before and put together in minutes. Overnight oats, smoothie bags, and this great, oh, it's a make-ahead granola recipe. I don't have that recipe. I don't know if it's on the back of the sheets. Oh, it is. And here's the recipe for the granola. So, uh, I screenshot that, I guess. But anyway, um, so I read that wrong. I thought it was just to eat a healthy breakfast, but uh, I eat the same thing every day, and so it's easy. I just grab the egg out of the refrigerator and cut up the things. Utilize the freezer. Freezing is a natural way of preserving food while locking in freshness and nutrition. You can serve up complete meals from the freezer or use pre-washed, pre-cut items to make meal prep easy. Um, I'm going to take a hint from Denise, and uh, I'm going to fry up some hamburger uh, well, ground sirloin, actually, and uh, put them in little, I think it's three-ounce serving sizes, in little snack bags and freeze them. And then um, 
just take them out when I need them to make like a, a small nacho or a small burrito or a taco or to put some on a salad. Um, I'm also going to do Kim's recipe for her um, Weight Watchers chili. I think I'm going to do that when I'm done here. And um, I'll show that. And I'll show the recipe for that. And I'm going to freeze those in little one cup servings. They're five points. And so I'll do that. I'm looking for a recipe for cabbage soup. I love Weight Watchers cabbage soup. So I want to do that and put those in little cups. You know, just things that are make it easy that uh, you can just pop out of the freezer and, and you're all good to go, as they say. Uh, number six, count the added sugar. While the current National Nutritional Facts Standard Panel doesn't list all forms of added sugar, you can check the ingredient panel for terms like sugar, cane sugar, corn syrup, molasses, evaporated cane juice, and then you can just know there's a lot of sugar in it. Um, I know that my pop has a lot of sugar in it, but it somehow it doesn't see, keep me from drinking it. But I know it's not good for me. I told you when I was doing David's science homework and I found out that they use the same ingredients that they use in uh, chemicals for uh, laundry soap. But you know, I still drank the pop. That's just who I am. Number seven, eat mindfully. Be present when you eat. The first three tastes are really all you taste. After that, you're just eating to fulfill your body's needs. So um, take in the color, the smells, the textures, the flavors, and even the sounds of the food. A lot of food's crunchy. Carrots, they're very crunchy. Um, try to go off the physical signals rather than the emotional ones. I know that when I figure out my budget for the month, I have the money to do it, but for some reason it brings back memories of the time when I was younger and I was really like stretching a budget. And after I got done with the budget, I always had treated myself to something good, which was not really good, but I mean like cake or cookies or something. And my mindset's still there. And I figure out my bills at the beginning of the month because I have to limit it to when my checks come in. And uh, I have no problems with that, but I still think I have to reward myself. I gotta get out of that mindset. Um, keep it fresh when you can. Try to incorporate fresh produce and sides when you can. Make pre-packed veggie snack packs or get creative with swaps. Um, I'm going to start doing that a little bit more. I, um, I, I bought the um, from Tupperware the Smart Fresh containers and so I've been putting this stuff in there and it's already rinsed and washed and so when I want it it's right there and I can grab it real quick. I have to start grabbing it real quick because I keep gaining. So obviously I'm not grabbing it, but it's there for me to grab. I'm just not grabbing it. Um, keep your healthful foods front and center. I have a shelf in the refrigerator that's just mine. And so I know when I need a healthy food, that's my shelf and I have to go there. I don't really go in the cupboard that much because I am not a processed food person. Um, well, I shouldn't say that because I eat crap. <laughs> so, But I mean, like, I don't eat canned soup and... Um, I don't know. I guess I am a processed food. I try to avoid it as much as possible. I do try to cook fresh as much as I can. And number 10 is spice up your routine. Recent research shows that the, the 10 grams or just a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper can boost your metabolism and cause the body to burn an extra 10 calories on its own. So I might be trying that little trick too. I do like things spicy. So um, I will make a copy of this and post this so that you can see it at your leisure. And... Um, my goal is to lose next week and every week after that. Everybody has that goal, but uh, I'm going to try to live up to it this time. So um, I hope you like the video, and if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Make a comment. I love to hear your comments. Uh, I'm offering, not offering, I'm asking you to offer me some um, recipes or uh, suggestions. I'll always take them, and just like the video even. So um, I will see you guys next Monday or uh, on my daily vlog.